Oh, look at the little goober. Hi, Commander Walton. Uh -oh. Hi, we're streaming live here. So tell us about what the good work that your officers did in finding this little dog. Oh, come on over. Come here, on over, too. gentlemen. Come on over. <laughs> come on over. And what kind of shape does the dog look to be in? Really good shape. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. And so tell me about, well, first of all, you gentlemen went to the door, right? Yes. Uh, as I'm, I'm going to slide over here as we show all three of you and get on in, the, in there, uh, Commander. And so let me ask you, first of all, what did you notice when you went to the door? What did you see? We, it was just a normal house. Um, we knocked on the door. Uh, the interior door opened up, and a dog came out, the armor guard. Oh, my goodness. Did he look like he was anxious to get out of there? Yeah, he did. Oh, my goodness. And, sir, let me ask you, first of all, what's it like knowing that you guys are going to be able to reunite a dog with its owner? Uh, it feels really good. It feels really good. You know, this just it's what we do. So it feels good to do things like He's this, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're the dog lover in the career. Oh, my goodness. Because you know how much. Then you, then you know yeah. what dogs mean to people. Yeah, absolutely. I have one myself, so. Absolutely. And what a goober. What kind of shape did he look to be in when you got him? He looked pretty good shape, pretty good shape. Um, you know, like I said, just anxious to get out, it seems like. He's getting ready, he ran right out the door. Absolutely. So. And Commander Walton, let me ask you, first of all, and now the investigation in, into typing up a warrant, I understand, will uh, begin on the suspected thief. Yeah, absolutely. And Officer Gadwell spoke to the owner of the dog, who I guess is on her way here to be reunited, so I'm sure she's very excited. Absolutely. And let me ask you, as we stay, stay on the dog there for a second, and uh, sir, let me ask you, what was it like when you talked to the owner? Oh, she started crying. And she, she actually didn't believe me that it was her dog um, until I told her that the dog's tag and the, the phone number and the address was on the tag. So, so, so without a doubt then, we know because of that tag that that is her dog? Yes. My goodness. My, what's it like being able to reunite this dog with its oh, owner? It feels good. It feels good. Absolutely, absolutely. And Commander, let me, I, I know a lot of people don't realize that, you know, Detroit Police, I know for a fact that there are a lot of dog lowers with Detroit Police, but not only that, it's also a crime. I mean, this man committed a crime by stealing his dog. It is, and the suspect, who, this happened in the third precinct, but the suspect is known to us here in the fourth precinct um, for breaking into cars and other things. So it's, it's a known person, so hopefully we'll get some quick resolution to the actual underlying crime. Wow. So you, this, obviously, then you guys, it was not a surprise when you guys found out, when we gave you guys that tip, that it could have been this guy. His name does not surprise us at all. Absolutely. What would you say to that anonymous viewer who contacted Channel 7 about where this stolen dog may be? I mean, we'd really appreciate it, but I wish they, everybody would be generous with tips, not just with cute little dogs, but all crime in general. They come forward and help us out, because look at how quickly we can resolve crimes when we get tips.